after Jordan's last pick. Can you just kind of walk us through what you saw there? Uh, nah, man, it was just miscommunication. Um, you know, I'll take full responsibility of it because I know he put himself in the best position he could possibly put himself in. And, you know, just got to give the Lions the credit because they came out and played. Uh, you know, they got a W and, you know, not let this break us. You know, I'm going to come back in tomorrow get right in the film room and just let everything else take care of itself. Were you going into scramble mode kind of there? Like maybe, is, is that, at least that's what it looked like to me. I'm just checking what you were doing. Did you see him coming up? And um, Yeah, so I saw him move out the pocket a bit. So I saw the back pylon line and I went and scrambled that way. And, you know, he threw the ball as in I was working within the progression going towards the concept. and. You know, uh, again, it's just miscommunication, and I know just off of something like that, we can just build off of it, and only good things can happen. You know, it's not a bad rep if you learn from it. So. It seems like an easy miscommunication on both sides to make. How, how do you communicate that better? Is it just reading your keys as one between your, you and your quarterback, or how do you prevent that miscommunication? No, just practice. Just practice habits. That's all it is. Um, it's nothing serious. Again, you know, I made a decision. He made a decision. Unfortunately, it just it turned into an F plus. But again, you just you know, just keep working at it, and only good things happen. Speaking of good things happening, what did you like about the way you guys responded after halftime? <clears throat> I'm like, I thought we responded really well. It's just you know, you know, we just got to do that in all four quarters because that first half we did not play to that standard. Um, and again, it just comes down to just, you know, being technical and real critical in everything that we do. You just get better from it. Do you, can, is there anything you can pinpoint about why it's happened the last two games, first half, kind of slow starts? Um, nah, man, it's just not playing with a sense of urgency. You know, we, we've done it before. Uh, you know, it's the way of playing ball. And again, just continue to just build off of it, so. As a veteran in the wide receiver room, what's your message to the rookies out there in like this? Um, you know, just be real self-critical in the film room, uh, film room the next day, you know, because I believe that, you know, we have uh, really good talent in the room. And, again, just not let a game like this break us for the rest of the season, you know, because we got a whole lot more games ahead of us. So. How good was it to get Christian back and just get him out there again and just feel like that offense getting closer to being whole? Uh, yeah, it felt good to have him out there, man, you know, because I know what he can do, and I know he's explosive in, uh, in his skill set. But um, again, man, just a game like this, you just be, you know, real detailed and just, again, just keep building off of it. Did it bother you at all the amount of Lions fans that were out there for this game? I know it was a Milwaukee season ticket holder game, so maybe not being able to bring to the crowd, but did you notice that? That's probably more than I've ever seen before out there. Um, I mean, regardless of the fan base, uh, again, I'm going to just keep it from a, a sports perspective. Um, you know, just got to give them the credit. You know, they played really well. They played in all phases. They played good football. And again, they came out with the win, and we didn't. So we know to get better from it, uh, you know, the next day and beyond. So.